Welcome. Some of you have asked for a review of what is this called, the Marie um, simulator. And here's the web, the web's page here. And um, I had been clicking on this button and on a presentation I gave you, I gave you the, um, the QR code. How by clicking on this in, um, in Edge. So you see this in some of my presentations for you. All right, so let's get into this. You'll see on this side, this is the accumulator, the instruction register, the memory address register, memory buffer register, whoops, program counter, the um, input, basically the keyboard that you type in, and the output. Down here, you can assemble a program step through the program, go through micro steps, go to go back or run at full speed or restart it. You can, when you're running full speed, you can slow it down. Notice it slows down to like three seconds almost per move, or you could have it run full speed or just watch it say one second. Uh, well, somewhere over there's a second, one second to watch it go through a step. So how would I get started? One, well, I would go up here to examples, pick up something easy. Here's a multiplication. It tells us these are comments. I could type anything I want. You'll see on my code, I, I, I have a habit. I'll do slash slash. That should still work. Notice it ignores spaces. This is input, input from where the keyboard. So whatever you type it on the keyboard, you'll see it down here. Store, we'll store something in a memory location X. Where's X? X is down here, line 14. It's actually not line 14, it's, um, well, it is one four, line 14. It's not hex. Next, input, whatever you type in the keyboard, you'll see it here. And let's see, click on this again. Th those little dots, oh no, you won't see it yet. When I start running it, you'll be able to change what you see in here, I'll show you. So here we get something from the keyboard and store it in X. We get something from the keyboard and store it in Y. So basically this is sort of like in C++. It's someone like saying C in, store it in X. It takes two lines of code to do it. C in and store it in Y. So these two lines, five and six, are this one line. These two lines are is this one line here. Next, I want to add y to x, add x and y. And to do it, I have to remember that everything here, input, basically everything goes into the accumulator. Everything, so c in really has from the input register here again, the accumulator will really be what the input register has, this thing down here, the input register. So when I say add x, what I'm really doing is I'm saying make the accumulator equal to the accumulator plus whatever's in memory location x, whatever you see in x. Here we put zero in, but we could have put a question mark, I believe, and that would have been fine. That means I don't care what's in there. Next, I want to output it. Output is very simple. Um, anything from C out, um, C out is very basically C in, I mean AC, the accumulator. My apology, my voice is kind of going. And this is exit the whole program, you're done. You might think of this as the word return, or it's just really the word halt. It's a little more powerful than return. It basically stops your program. So everything up here is your data section, and notice it stops on line 13. If we didn't have line 13 yet, we'd crash into these things. So below here, people might call this the data segment of your code, and up here would probably be called the code, code segment. 
Now, I want to see if this thing works. I have comments in there for me. There's licensing comments. I'll get rid of that. So I'll get rid of some of these comments just for now. And then I'm going to assemble. Whoops, syntax error. I wonder what it doesn't like. Let's see if it doesn't like that. Not sure what it doesn't like. Ah, it doesn't like that slash. Did I get the slash the wrong way is the question. And click. Yeah, didn't like double slashing. All right, so assembled successfully. That doesn't mean I'm running the program. Where it is, the program's down here. Here it is. This is what it looks like in memory, starting at memory address zero. We don't have to have it at address zero. We could say, put the origin in address. Let's see if it'll take address um, 00F. It did. So if I find 00F, there's 00F. So the program is going to start here and move its way all the way across. So the program started there and moved to here. It's a weird place to start it. I'll start it at 100. So now we have to find 100. Here it is, 100. When I say 100, it's not really 100 because this is hex. I'm going to go back to the beginning. So it's right here. Now I want to see the program run. So I step through it. I hit the step button. And you'll notice, you see in the instruction register, 5000. That means input. It's, it's at line two. <clears throat> it says, what do you want? And I want to put it in decimal. I have a choice. So I'll say, OK, the number 12. I didn't want to type in C. I have 12. Great. So notice the line count here, PC. All right, next step. <clears throat> You can't, okay, I'm going to fix this here. Get rid of all, oops, store, get rid of all these spaces. Because it's messing up with the line counter when we look at it. So I'll start that over again. Restart. So you got to learn how restart works. Step. And again, I'll go decimal, great. Um, 12, accept. All right, so here's in, C is 12. And notice when I put the cursor over it, if I do it just right, it tells you decimal 12. Great. Notice the instruction register is step one. And we're really at step zero. This is step zero. Step one is down here. Looks like it's off a little bit. So we can step through this thing one at a time. Notice the accumulator has C in it now from the um from y okay we see i'll put in the number four so now i have number four in here step add up c which is 12 which would be 16 which one zero there it is one zero the, uh, lo the green bar seems to be a little off, as far as I see looking at it. Just weird for me. But you get to see it step through all the values here. You can even see the number. There's X, which was C, and this was Y, number 8. It says, wait a minute, I see for Y, I see a 9. But not, it's really, we start at 0. This numbering is should be 0. I would start at 0, but it's a very nice program. Next, we can watch the thing, all the steps, the register transfer language. What is happening inside each one of these steps? So I can restart it. 
restart the program and step through it. I can put another number in there, three. Or you just hit run and it'll go fairly really quickly, three plus three. And the output is six, there it is. Three plus three is six in, in any number system. And if it's too fast, you can slow it down like this, restart and run. And you'll watch it go step by step. Uh, and seven, three and seven is 10, so it should be A, should the answer be A. So the output eventually will be A. B, didn't I say three and seven? Three and seven is 10. Oh, I put four, there, there's debugging. I didn't put three, I put a four there. So four and seven is 11, 11 is B, A, B, 11. And you can get to see all the micro steps that are in there if I restart it. Micro steps. Let's try that again. Oh, and watch list allows you to watch the variables change. So you don't have to keep looking down here and look at these two things to see what's going on. All right, so you get the idea. You can step, oops, I have to type the right number, sorry. Um, step, step, step. Let's pick out another number, how about one? So you'll notice in, I have a four for the um, X. This will be a one once I store it there. Store Y, so after this step, there's a one stored in there. And you also see it in here in the watch window. And we could also, as we go through this, we can go through the micro steps. When I hit micro steps, you see them one at a time changing. So you know exactly what's going on, each line by line. So not only do you see the fetching, you see the, de the decoding right here, decoded. What do I do after I know what the instruction is? Oh, it's opcode number two. What do I do? Use these steps to finish opcode number two. Oh, it's opcode number three. These are the steps that I do. These are all micro pro. Everything here's a micro program. Here's opcode number five. So this is a, has a very high educational value, this thing. All right. I think 14 minutes is enough talk time. Um, good luck. I'll post. I'm posting this on Blackboard for you.